list right now because I'm back in my old neighborhood. I used to live in Tom's Bend since I really came back and took in the sights and the smells of this old neighborhood that I used to live in for years, guys. L.A. for four years and I am back in my old neighborhood. Uh, this is like, I just have to just like, you know, I'm in awe right now. Like I'm in awe. Okay, so I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys So this is Little Italy in the Bronx. My favorite pizza shop across the street there is closed. At least for today, I guess. But they have some bomb pizza. Great delivery. Like... So I guess with COVID, they have this street blocked off. This is Arthur Avenue in Little Italy in the Bronx. They have it blocked off, so some cars. Cars can't go down, but pedestrians can walk down. And, oh my gosh. So much to reminisce, guys. So much to reminisce. Look, they have a greenhouse CBD. I don't think that was there when I lived here definitely wasn't there but they have uh restaurants italian restaurants lying on both sides of the street and obviously you guys can see they have outdoor seating i'm just i'm just taking it all in guys this is i just feel so good right now like i'm on cloud nine and it's a nice day outside too i think the temperature is like in the 60s gosh y'all y'all don't understand i used to live over here i lived in this neighborhood for a couple years before moving to los angeles california in 2016 to complete my phd and i am back and it feels it feels the same though you think about it like it still feels the same what has really changed about this neighborhood i mean other than of course this outdoor seating this this wasn't here like to this extent anyway because you know the restaurants you can go inside and eat back then so of course that has changed but oh my gosh guys guys i just gotta keep taking deep breaths just taking it all in it smells so good. It's a lot of bread, fresh bread. Alright. Oh, that looks good. That looks yeah, good. Cool. You got Shaq, though. Look at that. Shaq, bring up some wine, please. Oh, I said you want carpenter, maybe cheese. The thing I love about New York City is like the food. The food is like second to nine. That's cute. Seminole. This is a market here. I'm not going to go in because I don't have my mask on, but I remember they used to have a piano here, this area. Hi, Angie. Angie. Can you translate that to English? Sorry. That looks like you're speaking French. So that's a market there. Marina is in the Just like, guys. Part of, it's like bittersweet. Part of me wants to cry, and this part of me is just so in awe and happy right now. A lot of wine drinking today going on. I actually live on the next street over. I lived. Not currently now, but... When I lived out here, I lived like literally on the next street over. Not too far, just walking. This is right around the block, basically, right around the corner. How you doing? Hello. But well, one thing that I'm trying to figure out about is, uh, you know, my list is up here. They close it. Yeah, I think so. Because I don't think it's like somewhere. 
somewhere over here in this vicinity. But guys, did I say one street over? I meant like a couple streets over down that way. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh, what is this? Little garden. I know garden. I can't find garden. Probably gonna come back out here and treat myself to some nice lasagna. Some pasta. Some real Italian lasagna. Authentic. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a supermarket. Oh, there's MNG. MNG is still here. I used to order cheeseburgers and fries for delivery from this place here. Oh my God. This place right here. They're still here. Look. Great service. I mean, most restaurants in New York City have great service. They move very quickly. Super fast. Oh my God. They have really good food. We order from a lot of places. I used to live out here. Supermarkets to go to, go shopping for groceries. <sighs> wow. Little Italy. Yeah, they have both sides blocked off so cars can't drive down here, which is nice. Full moon pizza. I think I ordered a pizza from here a couple times. It's pretty good. Oh my gosh. 187th Street. <laughs> ah. Yo. This is so surreal, you guys. Oh, look. I don't remember that being there. Painted in the um, ground when I was here. <sighs> wow, this side is blocked off too. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Wait, was this here? I think. Okay. This man, New York has like the best food places, yo. Oh my gosh. Nice. Yeah, most of these places are still the same establishments that were here when I was here. I don't really see anything drastically <laughs> different. Like, it stands out. Like, really. That was here when I was here. You say Dominique's is your joint. That's what that was called? Oh, no, that wasn't Dominique's. That was Luna. That was Luna Cafe. I don't know where Dominique's is. Maybe I passed it already. What street is Dominique's on? Oh, gosh, y'all. This is like... Oh, I don't think I understand. My body just feels so weak right now. Oh, my gosh. My neighborhood feels the same. I used to truck down these streets all the time <laughs> to get to the D train on Fordham Road. So that was a good walk. I think it's maybe like a mile, maybe three-fourths of a mile. It's a good, nice little walk from where I used to live and getting to the train. So I'm approaching the street I used to live on right now. Yes, Belmont to the right. Man, guys. All right, I think I'm going to go this way. It's just so wonderful. Let's cross over. Let's walk on this side. Outdoor seating isn't that bad, though. And the temperature is wonderful. I actually came uh, 
sleeveless. <laughs> This sleeveless shirt, which I have underneath this, and I went to grab some things out of my storage, and I decided I should go ahead and pick up this hoodie here, because I am in the process of moving, guys, so I will be in my own place pretty soon. That is the goal. Yes, pretty, pretty, pretty soon, like very soon. Moving day is actually set for October 1st. Everything goes as planned. Oh, look. Look at that. <laughs> you know, I went to a restaurant in Harlem, uh, Melba's, it was actually, where they have like the digital menus. You know, so you can stay corona free. And decrease the chances of the spread of, you know, the virus by basically tapping your phone or downloading the um, app. You, no, you download, like, you tap your phone on, like, the, what do you call it, the code? The code, and it pulls up the um, menu. So I thought that was different. It was pretty cool. At Melba's, I'm pretty sure a lot of restaurants still have it. Some restaurants still have the old-fashioned menus. You just, like, you know pick up the hardcore menu, hard uh, copy menu. I said hardcore. <laughs> oh, this is hardcore, guys. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So we're passing through Arthur Avenue. I'll be back, Arthur Avenue. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Yes. Oh, the barber shop. Did my ex go there? I think he used to go get his hair cut over there. I think. That barber shop with the deluxe there. I know they got some nice looking men up there. Is that the one or maybe I'm getting it mixed up? No, the, no, I think it might be that one. So I was going to say it's white people up in there. Arthur Avenue near 187th. Well, this is 187th, and I just passed Arthur Avenue. So, this is the corner of 187th Street and Arthur Avenue, where you have Full Moon Pizza, Luna Cafe, Dominique's, I don't know which side Dominique's. Is. Oh, is that Dominique's over there? Wait, I don't know. That looks like it's Dominique's across the street near Chase. Is that the one you're talking about? Did I go there before? I've been to quite a few restaurants in this neighborhood, actually. It's a really nice neighborhood. It's quiet, you know. There's nothing too much going on like that. People mind their business. It's, you know, it's Little Italy, so it's Italian, it's Hispanic. You got some black sprinkles in there. The bakery. I think I used to go to that bakery. Oh man. Oh yeah, I think that's the that's the barber shop. Right there. I think. There's a lot of barber shops. I like to just peek in and look at the nice eye candy. Nice eye candy men. <laughs> getting fresh guys I feel oh my gosh so I'm gonna end this vlog but I just want to thank you guys for me really quick in my own neighborhood <sighs> catch you guys later <laughs>